Tonight's headline, Senators laud stronger ties between Philippines and U.S. Agriculture and mining, Philippine drivers, says NEDA chief. Experts, expert bats for continued mass queue, says East borders risky. Philippine ushers enhance tourist destinations. Taiwan to resume visa-free travel for Philippines. Tropical depression carding intensifies. Good evening. Today is Friday, September 23, 2022. I am Elmer Navarro Manuel and this is Tribune News on Q. Here are the stories for this evening. Senators on Friday lauded the renewed and stronger ties between the Philippines and the United States, which was one of the accomplishments of President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. in his first bilateral meeting with U.S. President Joe Biden. Senate President Pro Tempore Loren Legarda said the renewed bilateral relations of the Philippines with its longtime ally is a welcome development in the Marcos administration. Likewise, Senator Francis Tolentino, Vice Chair of the Senate Committee on Foreign Relations, praised Marcus's recognition of the U.S., which he described as the, mo as the country's most important economic and defense ally. The lawmaker expressed his hope that the recent events in New York would signal a more robust eco uh, economic, military, and people-to-people -people partnership with the United States as it has always been. Meanwhile, Senate President Juan Miguel Subiri likened the success of Marcus's working trip to the United States to a home run. Socioeconomic Planning Secretary Arsenio Balisacan on Friday cited agriculture as a vital growth driver for the country while mining industry should be further explored to increase its contribution to the economy. Balisakan, who is also the National Economic and Development Authority chief, said agriculture is an obvious growth driver for the economy as President Ferdinand Marcus Jr. has pronounced that this is a priority sector of his administration. He said responsible mining is a major source of economic growth and the government should promote this industry. The country has been pitching investments in green metals such as nickel, cobalt, and copper to American investors as part of the Department of Trade and Industries make it happen in the Philippines investment campaign. Other variants of the coronavirus would enter the country when border restrictions for foreign travelers are eased, according to a health expert. University of the Philippines, uh, Philippine General Hospital Chairman Dr. Ted Herbosa, who was medical advisor to the defunct National Task Force Against COVID, said that apart from allowing foreigners to enter the country, the IATF may also consider the quarantine requirement for the fully vaccinated travelers. The IATF has created a technical working group that will study the country's border restrictions. Herbosa said advisory about the wearing of masks indoors must be observed by incoming foreign travelers. Tribune News on Q will be back after these reminders. Introducing the new MGHS. Driving, riding, flex it. Aim higher with the new MGHS. Sa likod ng aming mga pagsisikap, hangad namin ang maiangat ang bawat Pilipino. Magbigay pag-asa. Maging kaagapay sa pagbangon, katuwa sa pag-abot ng pangarap. At maging lakas at sandigan ng isang masigasig na bayan. Pagcor, creating opportunities beyond gaming. Araneta City, home to the country's first indoor shopping mall. The world's original thriller. 
and the first ever Bini Bini pageant. Now a place for your first win. Your first catch. Your first home. Your first big break. Your first date, and even your first love. Araneta City, the city of firsts. Welcome ka dito sa SM. Come as you are. Mahilig ka man sa pabago-bago. O sa paikot-ikot. Yung nag-a-adulting. Or parenting. Ikaw na kulot. White-haired, purple-haired, kayong magkaibigan na nagkaibigan. Buong barkada, yung gusto mo, chill lang, or gawin yung feel mo lang. We know you're changing, so we're changing with you. Come on in, we're all in. At SM, you're always welcome here. mga makakasama nyo tuwing umaga sa programang Gising Na. Roy Pelovelo, Comfy Manalo, Vernon Velasco, Kim Sancha, at Chirk Balagtas. Abangan ng programang Gising Na sa Facebook page ng Daily Tribune. Ilabas ng mainit na kape at samahan kami sa inyong pag-almusal, mga katribo. Sama-sama natin alamin ang mga natatagong istorya sa mga dekes na kaganapan sa loob at labas ng bansa. Aari nyo rin ibahagi sa amin ang inyong opinion via Daily Tribune Facebook page at Tribune Now sa YouTube. Makichika na rin sa latest showbiz happenings, mga katribo. Kaya naman, magsama-sama po tayo sa... Gising Na! In other news, tourism chief Cristina Garcia Frasco has highlighted efforts to revive the Philippine tourism industry by unveiling plans to enhance the tourist experience. Frasco said the Department of Tourism is geared towards improving the stay of tourists, particularly Americans who have been topping the tourist arrivals in the country for the past decades. She said the DOT is slated to groundbreak 10 tourist service areas in the country, allocating three in Luzon, five in the Visayas, and two in Mindanao. Frasco likewise announced the prioritization of tourist safety and security through a partnership with the DND and DILG, the establishment of Wi-Fi in tourism destinations, an improved digital platform that will provide information to tourists, and even the establishment of a tourist assistance call center. She also relayed that the Philippines is once again ready as a tourism destination and the critical role that the industry plays in spurring economic opportunities across the country. Filipinos traveling to Taiwan will no longer need to acquire a visa as the self-governed island announced the restoration of the, its visa exemption policy for the Philippines and 10 other countries on Friday. Taiwan announced it will restore visa-free treatment to 11 out of 12 countries that were previously excluded from the restoration of Taiwan's visa exemption policy. Taiwan declared that visa-free treatment would resume on September 29 for nearly all of the previously excluded countries, with the not notable exception of Russia. The length of the visa exemption varies from 90 days to 14 days. On September 6, Taiwan's Bureau of Consular Affairs announced the temporary suspension of the visa-free privilege from visitors from Brunei, Chile, the Dominican Republic, Israel, Japan, Malaysia, Nicaragua, the Philippines, South Korea, Singapore, Thailand, and Russia. Citizens from countries that previously enjoyed visa exempt status will once again be able to travel to Taiwan visa-free starting September 29. Tropical Storm Carding has slightly intensified in forecast to bring rains over parts of Luzon beginning Saturday night, according to Pag-asa. The State Weather Bureau maintained that tropical cyclone wind signal number may be hoisted over the eastern portions of northern and central Luzon beginning Friday night. The southwest monsoon and the trough of Carding will continue to cause scattered rain showers and thunderstorms over the Visayas, 
Calabarzon, Mimaropa and Bicol regions and the provinces of Sambales and Bataan. From until or from Saturday night until Sunday, Pagasa forecast light to moderate with at times heavy rains over the provinces of Batanes, Cagayan, Isabela, and the northern portion of Aurora. The tropical storm is forecast to make landfall over northern Luzon on Sunday, and the rest of the country may experience isolated rain showers caused by localized thunderstorms. That wraps up the stories tonight. Catch us again on Monday, only here on Daily Tribune's Facebook page. Again, this is Elmer Navarro Manuel, and you're watching Tribune News on Q. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay at home. Good night, and God bless us all. We would like to thank the following Araneta, Pag Ibig, SM Supermall, Veteran, Divina Law Offices, ICTSI, Xlog, Globe, Kia, PLDT, Cherry, Tanawan, Prime Homes, RLC, Pure Gold, Peralco, and SM Retail. So
Catch the latest news on our website, tribune.net.ph. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, Tribune Now. Download the Daily Tribune app on Apple Store for iOS and Google Play for Android to get the latest and most comprehensive news online. Daily Tribune invites you to join its vibrant community, Katribu, to get updates on the hottest news on politics, business, sports, lifestyle, and entertainment. Emoticons of the Tribune mascot Tarsito are available on our community Viber.